What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. <laughs> yes. Th <that's>... Yes. <laughs> uh, we're not Nosferatu. Right. <laughs> we're Nosferatuing it up. Yeah, uh, the Good Father. Episode two, the Good Father. That's right. Uh, he stapled his own chest. What? What else do you want to know? Dude, super sick. This yeah. was like one of my favorite episodes yeah okay go uh, on that go i've on. seen in a long time i don't know if it's i mean i'm not gonna knock the acting of vic's character um uh, the actor who who plays vic but actually yeah B bing was bing was fucking that dialogue they had with the little kid mike in the car like with the bully and they yep dude it was it was it was fantastic and and just having a a, a zachary quinto Esque episode, yeah, and seeing um, multiple characters, him before becoming who he's become, and and reawakening from in the morgue, and like you said, stapling himself back together, and then um, just just the transitioning, you know, when he was trying to escape, and 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 it was it was just great. It was I've a got right, so episode. so I've got I've got a couple of things about that. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So listen, we got a few questions. We're going to get to them real quick. Uh, yeah. Well, well, in a minute, because let's 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 just. I mean, all right. Let's do this. Yeah. We got a question from uh, Kevin T. What did he ask us? Because it's where I want to uh, go. Kevin asked. Uh, Kevin asked. All right. Who? Uh, this is this is a good one. Who's uh, whose wraith was it before? Right. Um, what's your ideas on? You know. Just kind that. of theory, I guess, because obviously we won't. We don't that. know, right? Here's the thing. So, so my mm -hmm. question, okay. So this to me, this opens up a broader thing, meaning, what? So here's my question to you. Yeah. Uh, did we know? Did we see Manx know about being a creative last season? We did. We did. The one thing the, of the past that we got was when it was that that girl with the drive-in. Yeah, yeah, I forgot her name. Yeah. Now put that in the timeline. That's obviously after. Yeah. He was dating that girl. Mm -hmm. We didn't know about. Remember, we were like, "Oh, who's that girl?" That that wasn't his wife. Obviously, that was just some girl he was dating after he became. He wanted another child from her, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. He thought maybe that's what it was. Maybe that he thought that's what he needed to do to get the kids is have his own children. Yeah. And then he realized, well, I could just steal them and be a piece of crap. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So here's, here's so, the thing. So then what was, so what was your question exactly? So my question was, did mm -hmm. we know, did, did, did we see him like know about being a creative last season? But that, that's not Himself really. Himself or that there's others out there? Cause no, he obviously I, knew... I think I wrote that wrong. I was really tired when I wrote that. I think what I meant was, did we see him become like, did we, did we see him, I guess, become a creative or come into being creative? We don't know that. And, and so what I'm saying is whose wraith is it? So you're, you're saying that this, that the wraith has something to do with him becoming I, yeah. a creative, but I, but you're born not necessarily, not necessarily. Okay. Cause you're born. I was a creative. just kind of, yeah, I was just kind of, here's the thing. Let's, I, let's, let's look at real quick, not to cut you off, but, but let's, yeah. let's go down this line of thinking. We know that Vic, found out about being a creative because she used her knife the bike yeah. when she was younger called to her remember she was like i want mm -hmm. this one i want this one daddy and he was like oh yeah. okay we'll get it because it called to her and so did the yeah. triumph okay yeah. <clears throat> he said in this the wraith kind of spoke to him right he said oh i just knew i had to have it or whatever right so yeah. there you go so the knife calls uh uh maggie same deal remember yeah. her tiles yeah. they called to her so so that's so when you're that type of creative, because we know there's other types as well, I guess. But when you're when you're creative, that uses a knife to break through the fabric of reality. That's what happens now. Yeah. My to answer the question that that Kevin has is I don't know whose it was. Does it have any? Yeah. I don't think it matters. I think it has. I think it has something. To I don't think do it matters. It. That's why they mentioned it. I don't think so. I think I think I think just the fact that he was like, "Oh, I got a deal on it because someone died in it." That's why he was trying to justify to his wife. Spending that's how I was able. Or, right yeah. now, I mean, I guess here's but my they, problem. You know, here's my problem. Yeah, I. Yeah, we. He goes from. 
he just decides to drive to Christmas land. There's no, we don't, like, there's, no, we don't, how do we know, how do we know that he knows? How does he know that? That's what I'm saying. We I don't, don't think know. He, I don't think he knew that he was going to Christmas land. He was going to kill them all. He was going to crash the the wraith. Ah, that's right. He was going to crash them. And then all of a sudden they're in and Christmas land. And then all of a sudden because it she's happens. biting. So yeah, it just That happens. was the first time. Okay, so here's the thing. That's the first time that happened, right? So yeah. that's what happened. So it was the first time that. So just he... like the just like the wraith kind of called to him, like it mm. kind of brought him. And also how the bridge Christmas just appeared land. to Vic. That's yeah. what happened. The wraith yeah. brought him. The bike brought her. Yeah. To again, now these. Okay, so you have a knife that breaks the reality. We know that cuts the reality, but it's what it. It's the powers of that knife as well. That that's what you have to factor in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vic's power is to find using the bridge it creates the bridge to find he you got you got to parse this all together he can pull life energy oh think about this that's probably their nature so we were talking off camera and we spoke about it last season as well how the reason it's he called the reason it's nosferatu is because his wife says she looks like the nosferatu she mm -hmm. she was jibing at him in the beginning when we first met her of this episode, you look like the Nosferatu, and the and the the father-in-law said you're a vampire. So his nature, he's a leech. He yeah. pulls, he, you know. Yeah. He also uses that as a joke. We understand that, but what I'm saying is that's what that is. Vic, on the other hand, is a person who finds things. Right. That's what. That's what. How her power manifested. So, yeah. you know. Um, it, it, it one one thing about this, and this is what kind of had me thinking is. I real I, I mean I I agree with with you and what we're talking about about Manx being this is this is when it began that the mm -hmm. that the wraith called to him and this is when his that it, it, that was the first time his, he, yeah. yeah this is when it started but don't you find it interesting that the father in law was saying how he has like no family he's like who's a Manx I don't know I never heard of another Manx there's no other Manx a Manx is a tailless cat uh, uh, what yeah if, I mean I so think I just think that was kind of like. You know, was he doing things before even the flashback, and he didn't have the the wraith? What you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't think so because I obviously that's so the first either. time he went to Christmas Land yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but they I definitely mean, threw that out there that the father made it seem like he has no family. Well, I think it's heard just of any other. Yeah, I think it's just a little backstory into Manx. I think it's just a little bit giving us a little insight is into how other people other people perceived him before becoming yeah you know the the monster that he that he becomes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yeah i mean you know let we've got a couple other questions um yeah but you know let's um talk about millie because uh we get to finally see her like we saw her last season but we didn't get to see a lot she makes those phone calls you don't know anything about it you don't she says he's his daughter and you and I had like, we're like, well, from who? Remember, we didn't know from who we, that was a question yeah. we had last season. Well, now we know who she's born on Christmas day. Calls her, her his gum, his, um, his sugar plum, sugar plum. And, yeah. and they always get, you know, Eskimo kisses and oh, we're going to go to Christmas land. And she's really daddy's little girl. And you know, that, that all, that all tracks and that's all great. Um, yeah. So, I mean, Oh, well, you know, so so we saw, we saw, he, he he brings, we see, and we'll get to Bing in a bit, but we'll see that, you know, Bing brings another child and helps him, help you know, helps him come back, and he shows back up. Um, and, and you know, the fact that, you know, our, our que the question from Michelle Coggs off of YouTube is, what is next for Millie um, after she obviously was upset with Manx for leaving Christmas Long again? Will she go, will she go against her father? You know, so... Like I said, they show up and he says, I'm going to leave. Now, that ties into what the wife was saying and the father, yeah. the father-in-law that you're you only do it for you. You're only doing it for you. You're only doing it for you. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. is. That's what he's doing. He's he's continually yeah. only doing it. Like He doesn't really he cares about his daughter, but not as much yeah. as himself. Right. So I don't know. What do you think? What do you what do you think? You, you think um, I mean, I kind of felt the same way. So that's how? A good, that's how? A good how would she go against? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily have a theory about how she would go against the father, but you obviously seen she was upset that he was going to leave. 
Uh, he hasn't been there in what eight years, mm-hmm. you know, since he since his death, his coma, and all this kind of stuff. So, I'm wondering if, I mean, can can she can she harm him? Um, you know, does 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 he have an ability uh, again? Uh, you know, against these children that they can't necessarily harm him. She spoke about the white wall or the fo- whatever she called like what the wall that the kid passed through the, that that's that well that's into, obviously yeah, that's, and, yeah. It, and it was getting smaller and smaller so that kind of ans- answered our question last week about how the kids never ran into this wall before because because he and was alive shrinking. and yeah it's because shrinking. he was dying was right. yeah so uh i don't know it's an interesting question i guess we'll get a little bit more as the season progresses about that but i definitely see the animosity and i definitely see that that um, it's it's a good possibility. Well, uh, she's, maybe, yeah, she's, maybe the children themselves can can go after him. Well, do you, you know, think? Do you think? Okay, so here's the thing. We know what happens. Look, the, we were we were shown we were shown the kid leaving the dreamscape and disappearing mm-hmm. for a reason. That kid's gone. That kid yeah. no longer exists anymore because. Mm-hmm. He essentially kills the kids. Those kids are gone. Like those yeah. kids are, are gone and they Or can they come back? I you know, now I you mean, get we into saw that territory. we saw the cemetery. But we saw the cemetery um, last season too when he was showing Yeah, but we never got I don't think we got a close up of the of, of the kid Yes, yes a, we saw remember we? he showed he showed that it was a um a little girl. Remember? I don't remember. Or was it a little boy? I'm not sure. I'm not. Or am I thinking maybe, of the book? And I and I because I saw the cemetery. We definitely saw the cemetery last year. I don't remember. Either way, listen. Uh, that was that was um, Wayne. Oh, of course, yeah, it, yeah. It was yeah. So obviously he's not captured by uh, Manx yet. So is there is there a way to get these kids back? Is there a way that? these kids can leave this Christmas land and um, these vicious creatures, these vicious flesh eating monsters Mm -hmm. and join the real world again as normal children before, um, you know, well, they left. I read the book. I'm not going to tell you yes or no. Yeah. I don't want you. Yeah. I don't want I, you to, I, I actually don't, do I remember? I don't know. I might have to go do a little more research and, and remember. Yeah. Um, I, anyway, as you're talking, thought. things are popping into my head thought. and I'm like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but again, this is a, you know, it's a show that, you know, mm-hmm. that I don't know what they're going to do with it. Um, yeah. so, you know, just to finish off the question with Millie, I don't, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what she can do. I don't, I don't know what she, you know, if he's alive and, and well now, I don't know how far the, the, the scope of the dreamscape can go. If she can come back, like, I don't know. I don't know yeah. what they're going to do with that, but you know, it's definitely a wrinkle now that she's she's obviously a more prominent character and I, and I like it. I like yeah. it. I like the actress yeah. actress. I think, you know, I think it's, it's, it's cool that we get to see her. We get to see more of Christmas land, which is, you know, obviously yeah. it's, you know, they're able to, they're back yeah. second season. They're going to be able to do that stuff. So, yeah. uh, so that's yeah. cool. Um, so we had, I mean, yeah, I mean, we'll see, I guess we'll see, like, you, like, you, like you said. So, I mean, it could be a, like a group of the children, all of them together as one fighting against them. Who knows? Yeah. But anyway, uh, there was a couple of other things, um, you know. Uh, we, you know, we, we we got another question, but I want to save that. I want to I want to just touch on Bing real quick before we get to that last question. Yeah. Uh, Bing, obviously, like you said, really good story. That was his stepbrother that was treating him like crap. If you remember last episode, the mm-hmm. father's like, "You're gonna go with your mom," and she's like, "Yeah, but I hate my stepbrother. He's a jerk," and blah blah blah. That's who that kid was. Um, obviously, he takes him and he, you know, he brings him to Christmas Land, and yeah, it was just. Yeah. It was just uh, it, it it was it was really cool, but you know, we found that a lot. We got we got to see a lot, like we just said, the pass of Manx, and and um, he shows him the 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 graveyard, and then he actually sees Wayne at Slay House. Yeah, which was which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah. So you know, I I don't know, I don't know. We 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 got a lot of cool stuff in this. Um. But I do have some, I don't know, negative thoughts about it, I guess, just to be blunt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, what you want to read that last question? Um, I don't have. Oh, you don't um, have it? Uh, it's from John no. Blaze on YouTube. Uh, John wants to know, 
Uh, what did we think of Manx's special effects in this episode? So I'll let you go first. Yeah. I mean, can you can you um, knock any single piece of footage? I uh, no. In this I mean, episode? here's the thing. Here's the thing. It, yeah, it was. So it was re it was really good, you know, yeah. and um, my 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 concern, my concerns, my little thing with it is not the special effects themselves. It was just like how they were used. So what I'm saying is there's a couple things. So he goes. Everything up to the point where he's getting where he goes into the bathroom. Right. And then the guy's taking his shit. Right. And by the way, that guy didn't wash his hands with soap. He just he got out of the you heard the guy go Ugh, uh, like he was letting it rip and then he, he got just out wanted to get out of there, and he yeah. just washed his hands he didn't wash his hands with soap uh, so that's gross um but my thing is they now i get it they had to push a story i get it but never have we seen manx have we ever seen manx grow that young that quick it's always a over the course of the ride to Christmas land, he gains from being old to young. Now, all of a sudden, he's got uh, a kid pretty, in the it, car. It was pretty fast when when um, he changed from old Manx to young when the, Manx when, when the they were outside. Was burning, the... When the when Craig was burning, yeah. Manx was outside. Um when no when, i know and then also earlier the earlier than that fast. earlier when he was on the bench and he was old and he made him young yeah but I, I don't know man i just had a little i was just like it was it was it was like a little too convenient that he gave him that at least they could have made him a little older like he's like he's not decrepit and dead anymore but at least he's yeah you know and the other the other thing i the other little thing was once he gets back in the wraith he after Bing finds him at Slay House, he's got all the blood on him, right? In the in the shape of the Y from the cut, right? Yeah. Once he grows, once he heals from being in the wraith, the blood disappears. And I'm like, why is the blood on the clothes from the shirt? Yeah. That should have stayed. <laughs> now I get it. They had to show him healing. Yeah. I get that. And it saves money, I guess, and having lift up the shirt and see it get. I get that, but I got to do a little nitpicking. The effect was great, don't get me wrong, but I got to nitpick a little bit and being like, yeah. ah, that shirt would still be bloody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that would well, still be blood on the physical. Cl the clothing was yeah. another man's clothing. It wasn't his made up outfit mm -hmm. that he usually that he all of a sudden he wears his chauffeur's outfit. It just because then the next scene he's in his chauffeur's outfit. You know what I mean? Like it's just it just magically appears, which is fine because that's what happens. But I don't know. Yeah. That, those are my really my two things. Other than that, and 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 mind you, the effects were still, regardless of how they were used yeah. storyline wise, they were fantastic. I mean, mm -hmm. one thing this show does, and it's flawless. I mean, it's flawless what what they can do. But dude, the yeah, yeah the the stapling, yeah, just taping it back. Just up, the like, way when he's old, Manx, especially like the really decrepit Manx. When he was leaving the morgue, and the remember way he leaving, walks, he how he's, and how he's holding, and his hands, how he's holding the bone crusher, the chest yeah, crusher, the hammer. Yeah. It's in between this middle, like these two fingers, right? Yeah. Not like just like that. It was like he's just holding it like that. Like that was pretty cool, man. Like yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, he dresses really fast for a decrepit guy. Well, that, when he that's, dressed when he grabbed the security guards. Uh, well, that too, yeah. Outfit he's walking at, and he and he and he knows how to drive the shit out of that uh, Camaro or that I rock. Well, the look, he's was, been right? driving for what, uh, like you know, like eighty years now. <laughs> that's what he was. He was a great driver. That's what they. That, that was his whole he's idea. A, he's a wheel man. Uh, yeah, he wanted this fleet of chauffeur-driven, yeah. um, drive you know drivers uh, fleet. So, you know, I mean, yeah. I had look, I had I you know, I had a little bit of an issue. Not, I wouldn't say an issue, but like, I was like, I was a little bit on Manx's side. I was like, listen, that's his dream. He's making it happen. Like, you gotta, you gotta give it to someone who's making it happen. Although mm -hmm. she's like, but that's not going to feed us right now. This and that. And I, I, I completely understand both sides, but yeah. as well, you know, uh, you know, I, 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 I can see where Manx was coming from being like, well, yeah. no, I'm going to build this business. 
You know, I didn't get but the like money from dad. Like you said before, dad, he was only thinking for himself. He is. He, he is. Still, is despite but, the idea if it was good or bad, if it would have worked or not, the fact of the matter is, is that he hopped his, his wife's intentions. He well, hopped his wife's yeah, rings. That was, that was so. Gross. If your family is in such dire straits where you're right, can't hop find them a for meal, food, not yeah. for. <laughs> I'm sure three thousand dollars could have could have fed yeah. you know could have fed could yeah. have fed you for like what three months or something you know yeah so it's I'm probably even longer back then if it was that, like yeah. the 30s or whatever it was but yeah so I mean listen um, I think the special effects were great in this I think that the story was great again I think Bing I posted I posted it whoever is whoever is um, not yet a fan of our uh, 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 a part of our Facebook group Nasratu group i posted that quick scene i don't know if you i mean you saw the episode but i posted the scene between bing and the young boy michael um and it was just that whole that whole scene was like he really like stole it for me in this episode because yeah. even that that one moment where he's looking at the kid and he's like yeah he's like kids like he, he made me drink my pee once you know and he's like you want me to go inside and, and kill, kill him? him yeah he's you like, know i i, just I like, can yeah, like I will. Like, no, I know you will, but you know you'll go to jail. You know, like it was just so fucking great, so yeah. creepy, but so like well done. And that little kid was cool. Like was like good yeah. too. Even his little, yeah. his little look in the back of Manx's uh, in the, in the back of the wraith where he just turned in his fucking mm -hmm. and they had those crazy teeth, the piranha teeth. It was it was just a really um, a really good episode for me. Probably one of my favorites in the whole series so yeah. far. Yeah. So if this is only episode two, I'm kind of really excited to see what's coming for. I think it's going to move quick, man. I, I don't know. Yeah. I you know I don't know what they would have planned for season three or how far they're going to push it through according to the book. But yeah, you know I think um, I think it's going to move quick. <clears throat> it's already kind of moving quick for me anyway. I think, and that, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at all. But I'm yeah. saying like be prepared. I think things are going to come down. It looks like next next episode we see them together. And I think True. he, uh, we see. Oh no! Well, no, it says this season, so maybe not. There's, yeah, there was a bunch they, of. They're still a bunch doing of that stuff. this season. They're not doing the yeah. next episode yet. I think they're doing this season, at least after yeah. the show when it shows. Yeah. But uh, look, anyway, look. That's it. Let's uh, let's end that there. It's, we're we're we got a good time in here. Um, obviously, anything else? You know, you let us know down in the comments. And, yeah. Um, yeah. If you have any kind of um, ideas yourself or uh, from the questions that we got, and we appreciate the questions that we got from everybody yep. uh, on the YouTubes and on our Facebook. Facebook group. So, of course, just like every other week, we'll be posting um, on on Saturday or Sunday around there uh, to get the comments, uh, your questions in about the episode. Mm -hmm. um, so we really appreciate you guys when we ask you. I got you always. You always uh, provide us with some good stuff. So we really appreciate that. Check us out at Third Person Pod on all the social media outlets. We're always posting stuff there. Any kind of new content and new video ideas or any kind of um, potential interviews, you'll always see because uh, we'll give you a heads up there. Um, Speaking of interviews, yeah. uh, if you like this yes. show and you're watching this, it means you do. Yes. Go watch our interview with John Bruno. We have a part John one Bruno, and a part yes. two. But he, uh, he talks about working on this show. Um, and then we, uh, on, in part two, he talks about all his previous work, working on sh movies like Aliens, Ghostbusters, The Abyss, um, all the all the fantastic all Asian super 90s classic movies, movies yeah. that had the most insane so, yeah, special it was, effects. It was John really did, really so. fun, and uh, you know, hopefully maybe we can get him on again for this season. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah, so listen, that's it. Thank you for watching. We love you. Stay safe, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Peace.